So the parade had just wrapped up and we had brought an Uber. We took an Uber so that we wouldn't have to park. We're from Kansas City, but we flew in yesterday from New Hampshire just for the parade. And we were headed back to the direction where the Uber had dropped us off when all of a sudden people started crushing forward. Everybody started running. There was screaming. We didn't know what was happening, but this day and age when people run, you run. And so I put my arms around her and we tried to push through so people wouldn't run on top of us. And there was a woman crying, saying something about somebody had been shot. Um, Of course, it's hard to know, is it a singular incident or is there an active shooter? But we got pushed all the way up to Union Station where they had gated everything off so you couldn't get in for the chiefs. And everybody started jumping the um, rails and pushing everybody over. We got inside and we thought that, okay, it's calm now. We're inside. We'll be safe. And we had moved down the stairs so we could exit back out. And I told my my daughter, let's just sit down for a minute in here and breathe because we don't have a car. We don't even know where to go. And about that time, people started running again. And some girls were saying um, there was shooting. And she said she had it, which doesn't make sense. She said she had a hole in her pants from it, and that was terrifying. So we ran into a hallway, and a janitor said, come into this area. We went where an elevator was. We shut the doors and sat back against the doors, and we prayed, and there was yelling. And I didn't know if it was safe to leave, or, or so we tried to block the doors, and then we heard the elevator start to move. So we opened the doors and ran out, and we went through a side door, and there were officers. I've never been so glad to see an officer in my life. And they told you to try to get to a safe place. They actually brought us to a safe place. They said, um, we're trying to see what's going on. We don't want you to leave here. Go across the street. We are gathering a group of people. So they made us stay there for a period of time. There were easily 35 officers surrounding the perimeter. And then when they said an area was clear, they ushered us up from the downstairs, the belly of Union Station, and over to where the buses were. Right now we do not have a motive, um, but we are asking those who may potentially have any kind of information, a witness or video to contact police. That's one- KCFD units along with our mutual aid partners that were working to assist us at this event touched a total of 22 gunshot victims. One of those was a fatality. Um, we had eight what we considered immediately life-threatening patients. We had seven with uh, life-threatening injuries and we had six that were had minor injuries. Of the most serious, the immediately life-threatening injuries, we had eight of those. Those were all transported and off the scene and route to hospitals within 10 minutes. At the end, uh, today was tragic for everyone who was part of it. I had the chance to talk to my wife just a moment ago, who said we became part of a statistic of too many Americans, those who have experienced or been part of or connected to a mass shooting. That is something that I hope we all recognize is highly problematic for all of us. I continue to commend our police officers, our firefighters, and others who were there to respond instantly. But we also need to figure out a way to make sure that things like this stop happening in our country. With that, I turn it over to the Chief of Police, Stacey Graves. Thank you. I just want to echo um, the mayor's thoughts and his prayers and also to um, acknowledge that not only the, the victims who were actually hit by gunfire, but there are a lot more people who are going to be forever impacted by, by what happened here today. Um, you know, as, as people were running, you know, a lot of us law enforcement who were, who were running towards the danger um, also guided those who were in, um, in fear of their lives. And that's something to be said of, of how impactful today's event truly was. Um, Again, we have confirmed there is uh, one deceased person. Our gunshot wound total has went up to 22 in investigation. Um, I do want to comment on the question that I got earlier about a video of um, some fans tackling someone. We do have three persons detained and under investigation for today's incident. 
we are working to determine if one of the three are, are the one that was in that video uh, where, where fans assisted police. We are also working to identify our deceased victim so we can notify their family as soon as possible. I don't have the exact on the weapons, but we have recovered firearms. I don't have a number for you or, or a caliber. We have recovered firearms. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.